when I first got to Knockout, it was being called the greatest shit show on earth. They had a locker room of guys who thought if they worked together, they could build it, they could rebrand it, and they could make it something special. But there were two guys who didn't see it that way. That was you, Vertigo. That was you, Ramos. You didn't want to rebuild anything. What you did is you strip-minded. You took everything you could get, and when you could no longer throw your weight around, you left. It became magnificently clear that there, there was no rebuild, there was no rebrand, there were no greener pastures. There was nothing but punishment for the guys who stayed. Guys like me, guys like Venom, Corvus, Boom, McLeod. Guys like us spent the past year trying to dig the company out of the funk that guys like you left it in. I mean, let's, let's, let's just be for real. I was there for three months before they could even afford to pay me. Hell, I'm half of the tag team champions. Um, I'm not booked, I'm barely promoted, while the rest of those guys are buried deeper in the mid card than the truth in a Donald Trump speech. But as soon as you saw the opening, as soon as you saw the chance, here comes La Sangre back for another payday. Well, boys, you can fool a lot of people, but you're not fooling me. I've known you guys since day one. Guys like you, you just take and take and take. You have nothing to give and you have nothing real to offer this business. Fast forward to October 9th. They can build it as a title match, but trust me, this is secondary. This is personal. You guys want to be La Sangre? The Bloodsuckers? I don't care if the graphic says JDX, JD Amazing, or JD Dalton. Because at this point, what you're looking at is a man. A man who's been pushed around and disrespected for the last time. It's October 9th. Vengeance. You boys come riding in. Me and my partner, we'll be there. And we don't need no flag, no politics, or no cinematic promos to prove that we real. It's Vertigo, Ramos. This ain't business. It's all personal. The views of JDX do not necessarily reflect knockout wrestling. Now, it's true the company has gone through a transition, but at Knockout, we are focused on the future and bringing you the best independent professional wrestling from the state of Florida. What's up, Oscar? Now, Dave, what we have here is a tag team match. Here are the champions, Venom and JDX, coming out with Venom's daughter, Nikaden. These guys won the tag team championships in a triple threat tag match from Money in Motion and Zion and Hannibal at Knockout Chaos. They look ready for business. They are ready, and I am so excited for this match. Not only do you have Venom, who's been one of the cornerstones of the company, JDX, you heard his words. And by the way, folks, this is uh, the man called Dave from Producer Joe from the Working Fans Podcast. We'll be doing the commentary with Knockout again. And yeah, Joe, you were saying these guys are ready for business. <laughs> yeah, we are back in business now. We were out of the company for a little bit. We are back. And like we said, we are focused on the future. And right here, this is going to be a heavy hitter's match. This yeah. is a big boy back. We've seen Venom plenty of times before. We've seen Former Knockout Heavyweight yeah. Champion. Yeah, they are going to be fighting La Sangre, that is Ramos and Vertigo. Vertigo, great. He's been, we've seen him since Knockout Episode 1. Yeah. He's beating guys like Gangrel. Romeo Cavedo beat Gangrel for that Legacy Heavyweight Championship. 
But that's the thing about La Sangre. If you think about one, you think about them all. These guys are a unit, and Romeo Cavedo was actually very suspicious in his absence. But look at the confidence Ramos has oh, yeah. walking into the ring. Now, this is a beautiful building. This is the Silver Spring Shore Community Center in Ocala, Florida. And as you can see, we are bouncing back from COVID. Yeah, yeah, plenty of fans out here. Pretty cool. We called a lot of knockout TV where it was during COVID, and they did get a good crowd, but due to restrictions, they had to space them out. The Silver Spring Shore Community Center is packed tonight. And the excitement in the air, you can hear it in the crowd. Sangre's got that uh, free bird walk almost when they're walking. Yeah. Now, as you can see, Venom getting out of the ring, giving JDX the start. And I would say JDX is fired the hell up tonight. I, you heard him at the top. We had to give a warning specifically because his views do not reflect knockouts. No, but you can tell the intensity of this guy. He is ready to show everybody he is here. And that's how you want to go in as a champion with that confidence. And La Sangre, they want those titles, but will they bring it as much as we can see JDX and Venom are ready for it? And they have the championship advantage. You have to pin them or make them submit. Not the JDX or Venom are going to take a DQ or a count on you. No. at the begin you can see them facing off they're talking a little bit but that's how high emotions are running tonight I got one of that eye patch a little bit of a disadvantage high facing that is not a good idea uh, we've already said he was fired up to begin with a uh, little mind games though backing him up it's the hurry up and wait approach trying to get him off his natural timing frustrating they could make a mistake Ooh. Emotional. Throwing that kick to the gut. And, um, the shoulder block. Big clothesline in the corner. Whipping him into the opposite. Big splash. ADX has got the momentum going for his team right now. Taunting Ramos in that corner, trying to bring him in. This is what I like to see. Good tag team wrestling. and bringing him in to your corner, cutting off the ring. Keeping him away from his partner. The suplex. Ooh. Yeah, you got it. The beauty. With you guys swinging you over like that, you got to hit that ring hard. Venom is a crowd favorite, so he's getting people fired up. These guys are the champions. They, you never know what Lasangre is up to. Frankly, I, I don't trust them tonight. I don't know why. Well, so far, JDX and Venom, good tag in and out, working over the leg. This is great tag team wrestling right now. They're showing you why they're the champs. Sometimes the best defense is a good offense, and they're coming out hard. They're coming out swinging. And all smart wrestling, too. Keep them in the corner. Especially with rule breakers like this, you never know what they're going to be up to. And you want to stay ahead of it. I wonder if the ref's going to be able to keep control as much as he would like to in this match. You know, when emotions get out of hand like this, things happen. Suplex this time it's blocked. And so far this match has been all JDX and Venom. Yeah. Yeah, the champs are definitely showing you why they're champs. They're leading the dance, as they said. Yeah, Vertigo has not gotten anything in. Now we've got that Irish whip. Ooh, nice hip, hip toss. toss. 
Standing between him and his partner. This is what I like. In and out. You always hear this about good tag team wrestling. Get in, yeah. get out. Quick tags. Putting apart the ring. Operating like a team. Not that Ramos and Vertigo aren't, but... They haven't had a chance to show it yet. No, JDX and Venom, they just, they're just they making those good moves early. Absolutely. And there he is, leg. getting that rope. Looking over the leg, keeping him in the corner. This is about as classic as it gets for tag team wrestling. Yeah, so when you go through a transition like we have been through... You want those dominant tag champs in there. And JDX and Venom, they've been with the company, like they said. They have put up with everything that's gone down, and they have persevered. And also going for the pin a lot, too. Trying to win. Because yeah, like JDX said, this is it's not business, it's personal. Venom back in I said good in and out tags. Love it. Good double moves. Ooh. Oh, big clothesline. Got to just hail him right on the jaw there. And I wonder how Ramos is feeling on the outside of that ring. He has Watch not got it. in at all yet. No, because you don't want to make those moves where you go to go in. And, oh, oh we got here. Romeo Cavedo hits him with the flag. Uh-oh. Things are breaking down. See, I this is what I said it. earlier. La Sangre had something up their sleeve. Oh, and the match is DQ. Now, what did La Sangre hope to prove by this? Well, they were getting outclassed in this match, and they weren't going to win. It was just clearly a setup. Yeah, but... We need some, uh, get some more officials and wrestlers out here. This is the kind of mayhem I thought we got away from, and La Sangre is just keeping this chaos. The claw is coming out. She's got to get a little law and order in here. Yeah, we have to get it established because this is. And here we are again, some more stuff. I'm embarrassed how speechless I am during this, but we were seeing a good match. JDX and Venom, they were giving it their all. They were and, winning. Yeah, these guys come in and just rupt it. Get right in front of them. This crowd did not come out to see a title match end in DQ. Oh, what we got oh Cha-Cha, Cha-Cha Charlie, Charlie in for the save. Clearing out the ring. The crowd favorite. Oh, they love him here. And listen to that crowd. It is so good to hear the roar of the crowd back. They love some cha-cha-cha. All right, Charlie's cutting off the claw. What does he got to say? Claw's got something to say. She's reaching for that mic. The thing is, though, listen to this crowd. The crowd is so loud. I can barely make out what they're saying on the mic right now. Yeah. That Legacy Heavyweight Championship that Romeo Cabedo won from Gang Grail, that was on Knockout TV episode 12. Yeah, it was on my mind before, too. Right, it sounds like we're lining up a six-man tag match for the Legacy Heavyweight Championship. So he's going to put his belt on the line in the six-man. If I'm picking up what he's putting down, we're going to have to see, though. La Sangre doesn't get to call all the shots, I can't believe. Alright, so he wanted to set it for next show. Charlie wants it tonight. Ooh, 
making it personal. I mean, that's really how you pull a man into a fight, right? Racial slurs? Yeah. You're going to get Venom worked up. Venom's going to let you know what it is. Gang warfare. God, if you thought that tag match to kick off this episode wasn't beefy enough, this possible six man tag, this could be something. But the claw wants to make this official. She can get that mic. She's having a hard time getting control of these men. That's see, everybody's so spirited with this return of knockout. Everybody's just so excited for the future. They're trying to raise their game up. Okay, let's see what's the official word. Ooh, that's a wrinkle we did not hear before. All titles are going to be on the line here. So the winning team will get all the gold. So one way or another, there's going to be a dramatic shift of power in knockout based on the decision here. We're starting this right now? Is that what this looks like? This is going to happen tonight. This is happening right now. The claw has spoken. The claw has spoken. Look at the crowd. They're going nuts. We're going nuts here. I I can barely contain myself. Romeo does not look like this is what he wants. No, they... I believe he wanted to set this up for next show, but... Probably here, have a plan. Probably have a game plan. Maybe set him up with something. But that's the thing here at Knockout. The best professional wrestling out of the state of Florida, independent. We're going to do it right now. Yeah, and... You buy a ticket to a knockout event, you are going to get a show. And right now you got La Sangre. That's Romeo Cavedo. This man had a WWE tryout this year. You got Vertigo. You got Ramos. We're here with the tag team champions. JD and Venom. Shot, shot, Charlie. A fan favorite. They love this guy. And... This, this is not a match anybody expected when they walked in the door tonight. And the energy is palpable in the air. You can see Charlie dancing it up. Oh, even getting the claw to dance the claw a little bit. So She's got some moves. Mama Claw, look at her. Look at her going. Yeah, this is pre-match, so that's entirely professional. You can have a little fun. Bells rang, so now we are down to business. Like the claw's moves. But All right, now, let's get look, back to business. I was going to say, look at this. Charlie's in the ring, getting the crowd going. JDX yes, and Venom up. posted up on the outside. They are ready for this. But you look on the other side, La Sangre. They're looking menacing, but they're taking their time to get to the corner. I think they were a little rattled. This was not what they had planned. Like you said, they were trying to do this for the next show. But now we're in it. So we got a game plan. we got to take our time. They don't want to make a mistake. Yeah, they're stalling, but they're not scared. There is a confidence that Cavedo, who is a champion, is projecting right now. Almost the same confidence that you can see on the other side from JDX and Venom. Well, we saw how this was working as a tag team. JDX and Venom were getting the upper hand. But now we have more people involved. So Six man. Just a little more chaotic. A little more unpredictable. What happens? I'm really loving this fight. They haven't even locked up yet, and I almost want to scream. This is awesome. Oh, Romeo. I think we need another I thought he was going to, yeah, I thought Romeo was going to tag in, but he gives it to Vertigo. Mind games. You want to be able to call your shot as much as possible. Ooh, going in on Cha-Cha Charlie, oh. spinning him around. Clothesline. 
Keep the momentum going. Big elbow. Oh. Poor Vertigo has not fared well tonight. And he is a great in-ring talent, but... Charles a little dance here, too. Setting up. Right, really Super adding blast. insult to oh. injury. To the set-up powerbomb. No, oh, he wasn't going to get that. Didn't no. hook the leg quick enough. Plus, Romeo was right on it. Claws right on it as well. Not allowing much BS to go on out there. Nice little leg lariat. Leg drop there. Charlie has got the offense going right now, though. And he's got the crowd fired up. Almost makes you wonder if he's pandering to the crowd a little too much. Maybe a little too, too much. much. Over a big elbow. He hits it. You see Venom got the tag on the back, though, so he's about to come in. Oh, Venom doing a little dance. These guys are having fun. They're feeling the groove right now. Double elbow. I tell you what, Joe, it ain't showing off. You can back it up. There he goes. Hook the leg, but yeah. Vertigo just within enough trying to escape. And here we go, too. Back from the tag match. Working the leg again. Working the leg, keeping him in their corner. Oh, but, not oh this time. see, he escaped just in enough time. Ooh, Romeo Cavedo versus Venom. This is a matchup. Uh -oh. Big horses. That's not Venom, that's JDX. JDX. Oh, so many different people in this ring, Joe. He's got the eye patch. Plus, I'm wondering what he's going to do with this bandana. He's got Cavedo shook over it. The crowd. Oh, blowing his nose in it. Cavedo is incensed. But that's how JDX feels. God, I'm on the edge of my seat watching this. I'm... Speechless, I'm calling wrong names tonight. But Ooh. that's the excitement in the building. Big forearm to the face. GDX oh, responds with just as hard of one. Ooh, <laughs> another one. God, this is some hard hitting action right now. <laughs> and Romeo. Oh, Romeo kick. We're all tired of playing those shots, I think. Wait. Overhead. Big. He almost flew outside of the ring. Luckily, he caught that bottom rope. Otherwise, he would have slid right to the concrete. I don't know if you want to push him back into his corner, but bringing Cha Cha Charlie back in. Charlie fires up with a close on. Got that explosive offense. Yeah. Oh, now big forearm. Yeah, right in the middle. He's. Oh. Oh. Ducks. Charlie's ready. Got the crowd. Palm of his hand. Let's see what Calling for his music, and what is this? Is this a, a little dancing. dance off? Oh, Claw's going back at it. <laughs> He's having fun here. The crowd loving it. This is great to see. This is why I watch Knockout. And oh, nice drop. Romeo yeah. thought he was going to be able to respond, yeah. but you can't get the one up on Charlie no. when his music's playing. No, Charlie looks like he's having fun, but he's always focused. Ooh, that front face lock. That was a good. Just took him right down with it. there. Nicely done. Before I guys lose the champion. Ooh. Oh, I'm on games. All right. You've been dancing in my face all night. I want to slap you. Okay, wait. He's going to do a little dance. Ooh, what does Romeo got for him? <laughs> I don't know the crowd is into this, but I gotta tell you. Now, this feels like LaSangre kind of flaunting it in their face. Oh, but again, Charlie was ready. He is fired up on everybody here. So you're trying to play into Charlie's game. You're trying to use that music. But Charlie will not be one up. Oh, oh. look at that. Great athleticism Ooh. by everybody involved. Romeo Cavedo yeah. creating that space. Charlie caught. Now oh, Romeo's got his leg. He's never he seen somebody a tag foot. a foot before. Nicely done. As much as we've been talking about JDX and Venom's 
We're starting to see it now. Prowess. We're seeing it on the other side from La Sangre. And like we said, where you see one, you see them all. And these guys, they are a unit. See, getting JDX and Venom fired up, bringing them into the ring, distracting the claw. Leaving Charlie venerable to getting stumped on. Again, cutting that ring in half, just yeah. punishing Charlie. Firing up shots on Charlie. To the red basket. Big, Big shot. shot. Mm. Feel the claw felt that one in her chest. She was. I feel like the momentum of this match has almost tilted into Lasangre's favor. It definitely oh, has. And Cha Cha Charlie is the man right now who's taking all the punishment. That arm wrench back, yeah. that does not look good. Anderson stopped working over that arm. Keeping him in the corner. You know, I'm not a fan of La Sangre's tactics sometimes, but They're you effective. can't deny that these guys are a powerhouse team. Very effective. You know what they're doing. But I mean, if they win tonight, what, is, what does that mean for knockout? What does that mean for them? Got a political power. Got all the gold. Yeah, that would mean Romeo would keep that legacy championship, but Ramos and Vertigo would be tag champions. And it's interesting to see where this tag division is going to go because we're starting off the first video back in a while with a crazy tag match. Slam. I've always enjoyed that about knockout or their teams. Ooh, right over the top. Just the collection. Singles talents, tag right. talents. Everything is amazing here. You gotta step up the game. Everybody's always ready to bring it to the nighttime for matches and just tell there's an intensity in the air tonight. Now, in between the wild action, get a look at this building. I really hope Knockout comes back here to the Silver Spring Shores Community Center. It's just a nice backdrop to what is... Everything about this event is amazing. Ooh. Pushed him off there. Charlie, I feel like Charlie's taking a little too much damage to be effective right now. Yeah, I'm looking two and a half, too. See the crowd out there, man, in the hockey moves. Yeah. The fans are, they're wild. Today. They are wild. Oh. Maybe, was was maybe an elbow or something inside. Does it go for the pin? Got a two count. I like, he hooked that leg. He's going for something effective. Showing off a little bit, but I mean, these guys, whereas in the first match, JDX and Venom had most of the power in it. The Sangre has really turned things to their favor this match. Yeah, the Sangre definitely is uh, on top right now and they're running ahead. If this was a basketball game, they'd be way out there. They're running in front. Got a nice 20 point lead. Oh! oh big suplex dropped him on his back. What is Vertigo going up for here? Oh, oh, nothing. Charlie moves just in the nick of time. Vertigo is down. You can hear the crowd. They want Charlie to move to his corner. Vertigo's arguably showing more signs of life than Charlie. He's closer to his corner. I have to make that tag. He's in a bad way. He's, He's making his way over. Oh. oh. Just as he makes it over there, Ramos gets his guys off the corner. Romeo's back on him. And oh. oh Sherman over the head. Super. Dropped him on his back. This is not looking good. It's only on my watch. Chuck, Chuck, come on. Oh, 
Charlie goes up and over. Just narrowly escapes. Gets the tag to JDX. Running Lariat. Another Lariat for Cabedo. I mean, you heard his promo in the beginning. He has been there for knockout. He's put up with the highs, the lows. And now he just wants to reign as champion and reflect his company. Losangre, I feel like they have bigger plans. They want to upset this tonight. Yes, it's firing them in there right now, beating them down with kicks and stops. We've seen a hell of a contest tonight. Oh, oh power big slam. body slam. Power slam, sorry. It's all right. You know, when you got pandemonium like this going on, sometimes it's hard not to sit back and be a fan. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah, you can definitely get lost in this action. These guys have definitely been breaking it. The intensity has been up right from the get-go. And you can see that both teams want it. And Charlie, he's there to keep the crowd going. Oh, Charlie going to the top row. Uh -oh. High risk, high reward. Let's see how this works out for him. Oh, he takes everybody down. Who's going to get up first from this? Charlie wasn't doing all that. Oh, Charlie up. popped up. He's feeling good. The JDX, the Venom already in the ring. Let's see, this is the 3 0 here. See, that crowd interaction is so important to Charlie. He feeds off that energy. And we've seen when he gets hyped up, he's got that explosive offense. I'm loving this. Yes, they are. Celebrating. Oh, give him that high five. Oh, high five. Oh, oh, what is this? Brass Knuckles, the, the guy with the mask. That? You had noticed there was a guy with a Jason mask out there before. This is Halloween season. I thought, what is this? Oh. No. Oh, it's not. Got him. It did not go down like that. Who? He's wearing a La Sangre shirt. I don't I don't know what to make of this. I am not happy right now. You know, when it was a fair competitive match, it's fine. But like I said, La Sangre always has something up their sleeve. Always got a plan. Now this it's... Well, I mean, it's clear. They have the belts. There's been a shift of power. Yeah. The Sangre is taking over, but what What are their plans going forward? The tag titles and the legacy title. I'll tell you, they look rattled at the beginning. They thought they were in trouble. Maybe they were playing possum. Yeah. I feel like they had this in the back of their minds all along. Getting out of the ring. Oh. Look at that. They're making her roll back into the ring to get their proper celebration. Their hands raised. I mean, they won the match, so they earned it, but from the flag attack in that first match, the brass knuckles attack in this match, yeah. this is not an honorable win. Oh! Who's this? The Midnight Tribe making a run in. Sage Scott in the black, David King in the yellow. That's some super heavyweights. I think these guys want to shout out those tag belts. I mean, knockouts done been and gone with the one faction ruling over, and now Sage Scott, David King not standing up. I feel like we're lining ourselves up with another challenger to those tag championships. Yeah. And like I said before, Knockout, their tag division is amazing. Oof. If there's anything that's going to get fired, somebody fired up. You can't call them that. Yeah. 
There you go. I thought it was the mid match. Right? excitement in the crowd. I can't quite make out what he was saying because this crowd is so loud. You know, there are guys that are behind what the Sangre did, but I right. feel like there's other people seeing the Midnight Tribe coming in and feeling that all is lo- not lost. This is not another faction coming in and trying to take over and cause chaos. No, no. I mean, you got plenty of teams that are going to want to step up and get these tag belts. Hey, if you think it was hard breathing in this industry, breathing through a pandemic under a mask, imagine being a Hispanic in this industry. You should know what I'm talking about. You are here, you are here trying to play hero for these idiots out here. For no purpose. For no purpose. Is this what you want? Is that what you want? Hey, 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 this is how serious I am. This is how serious I am. You can have this. But it ain't about this. And you, you, and you. Know exactly what I'm talking about. Don't you sick and tired of driving cross country, jumping in an airplane, paying for your own flight because we know that they don't pay for your flight, buddy? Hey, we know that you show up to wrestle in front of what? 10, 12, maybe 30 people at the most? And for what? For the guys who be like, hey man. You know, it's okay with you, can I have an opportunity at our show? You know what they're going to respond with, huh? You know what they're going to respond with? Hey, kid, grab a camera, make yourself useful, because you ain't got no chance in hell in this room. Hey, facts, true story. Me? Hey, don't worry about it. Give it to the other guy, because at the end of the day, we're just a bunch of sticks, right? He is intense. If you want this smoke, that pan, we oh, were just kind of sitting out here letting you experience this, but this is an intense battle, and this is this is a fight I want to see now. I didn't even know I wanted this fight before. Yeah, there are that much words. But one thing we got to say: if you don't roll with us, you get ran over. Why? Because it's 5150 in la cabeza. We represent for todo mi gente latino nation. Tempers are high. Hold up! You don't want to catch yourself and knock this stuff out. Hey, practice correct. This is how we act. Wait for it. state of excitement here.
Sagre. See, listen to the amount of control Sagre is trying to establish. They have all the belts. Check this out. You want to run around town to town, country to country, state to state. Well, these guys are obviously the established force and knockout now. You got guys! Yeah, they're running rough shot on these microphones. But you're not getting in the ring. Shut your mouth. Listen. Listen. You got guys coming out. Oh, that's how they exert their power. They they were forced to get in the ring earlier. They did. They, They did their thing, and now they're just sitting there, really. Look, now they're choosing to walk off. They're going to end it when they're ready. The Night Tribe standing stalk, tall in the ring. Well, they want to fight. Back, Michael L. Ray has an interview with the Midnight Tribe and then Lassan. King of Trash Talk here with David King and Sage Scott. Folks, what happened tonight? Damn, my boy messed up. All the way messed up. You got me messed up. Damn, Mr. Tribe like that. No, squash all that. Romeo, me and him ain't no strangers to each other. We ain't no strangers. We've been down this road before. So he knew what it was. He see me rise to the top, he's jealous. His whole group is jealous of the Midnight Tribe. Well, ever since 2018, we've been tearing up in the Midnight Tribe. Talk. Mm -hmm. So now, mm -hmm. he's sleeping the hot things and shoestrings. He's trying to get laced. That's okay, though. That's okay. He got himself a little title match later tonight. I think we're going to pay him a visit. That's big old facts. That's big old facts. We're pulling up. Oh, yeah, we're pulling up. This is Michael L. Ray reporting live for Knockout TV. And, folks, it looks like later tonight, Things are gonna get heated. Thank you guys for showing up. Sage. Okay. No problem, guys. Hey, sorry about that. Michael L. Ray here, the king of trash talk live at Knockout Wrestling. And tonight I'll be interviewing Knockout's tag team champions up. I'm not sure if you watched what happened tonight. But these have already done enough damage. I mean I'm I'm sure you don't wanna. Experience. Otherwise, yeah. what he's saying, Papa? Sapika. <laughs> shoot, 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 shoot. This company learned tonight that after baiting wild animals over and over and over again, eventually these animals are going to feed. And when they do feed, things like this happen, things like this happen, you're looking at champs. Educate them. Look at the world scene. A mí no me importa tres pepinos lo que venga a decir el tipo en cacao. The knockout wrestling. ¿Tú sabes por qué? You want to know why? Tú quieres la verdad. You want to know the truth. En esta industria, this industry is full of racism. And we are not going to stand for it anymore. You are officially in the presence of three of the most unforgiving gods to ever step foot through those ropes in that ring and on this damn microphone. Papito, nosotros somos los que están reventando, calentando el local. Hey, como dijo mi hermano Romeo, nosotros venimos aquí a destrozar, a enseñarle a todos estos mamados que se creen, que saben lo que están haciendo, que corren compañía a diestra y siniestra, como si supieran cómo esta mierda se trabaja. No, Señales. Como nosotros, los latinos, trabajamos. Dile ahí, mi hermano. Tag Team Division, put on notice. The whole damn universe, put on notice. Where we come from? We don't do too much talking. If you don't roll with us. I said it. Están mirando at the Cuban heights of the century. Están mirando at the New York Rican D. Ramos. Y at the Cure, Vertigo, Rivera. Nosotros somos... Algo diferente que usted nunca ha visto. Y junto a AC Smooth. So that's the man that came out of the crowd. AC Smooth. We finally have an answer to that question. Somos la sangre. 
I got that blood, marimbero. Tenemos sangre de guerrillero. Tenemos una puta sangre. Right, fans, well, we want to thank you for joining. And thank Knock you to our sponsors, To Me Tools, Ooh, Rob yeah, Services, nah. Williams & Williams Insurance, Emmy's Ecstatic Nails, and WQBQ 1410 AM Radio.